Hello everyone and welcome to our beginner's guide on how to set up a vRising server on your Nitrato server. Here in Nitrato we host a myriad of different games, and one of those games is vRising. If you like this game and you want to figure out how to host a server for it for you and your friends, then it's important to know kind of how to get into the server hosting in the first place. So that's why we're doing this beginner's guide today. Starting a vRising server. Head into our main products page and you can choose your game directly by searching up vRising. One of the first things that will come up obviously is vRising, so just select it, then go through the process of picking which version of the server is best for you. Then we move on. Editing your server settings. Once your server is up and running, what you want to do is take note of the left hand side where you see there's information, settings, and hit the general settings. This is where you can change a number of different things, such as your server name, a password if you want, and even different modifiers to make the game run differently than it already does. You can also use this settings section to search up specific settings. Becoming an admin. If you want to have admin powers in the server, go to steamid.io and look up the username of the person that you want to admin. Then take note of their Steam64 ID and copy it down. What you're going to do is head back to your left hand side and under the config file section under settings, under the admin list you want to paste in the number of that Steam ID 64 that you just took. Then you want to hit the green save changes that is located at the bottom once you're sure that it's good and then you're good to go. How to join a server. What might be the most important part of playing on a server is being able to join. In the left hand side, copy down the IP address. Then head into your vRising game, hit play, hit online play, and then show all servers down at the bottom right. Then you can search up different names if you have changed the name of your server, and there's many different ways to look through it, but the easiest way is to take the IP address and hit direct connect. Then after just a few moments, you'll be launched into the server. If you're playing on the correct Steam account and you also put in the admin list, you also will be an admin once you join. Pretty cool, right? Conclusion. Hopefully this brief guide helped guide you through what is the basic processes of running a server with Nitrato. If it did, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is the type of content that you like to see. Until next time. Huh. <laughs>